fried vegetarian lasagna. We're going to take some butter, some olive oil, some minced garlic. We're going to sweat these together. Let these come down together like this. Medium to moderate heat. In here, I have fried onions. I have fried red peppers, fried mushrooms, fried green, green uh, beans, fried zucchini, fried broccoli, all kinds of fried vegetables right here. All I did was add a little bit of water to them, reconstitute them, and bam, they're right back to the regular perfect state. He's been on my shelf for 20 years. It's okay. Okay, so now that my butter and my garlic has simmered and sweat down, I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables to the pot. We're just going to get a little bit of flavor on these vegetables. Okay, all that butter and oil now, I'm going to take a little bit of flour, and I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of flour to go with those vegetables. That's going to make what we call a roux. Okay, the flour, the oil, the butter are going to come together and they join together and create a roux, and then when you add the cream and the milk, what happens is that butter and flour releases into the sauce and gives it the, gives it the thickening power. So don't be intimidated with a little bit of roux. We just put a little bit of roux in there with all these delicious vegetables. Stir this up real nicely. Then, it couldn't be a great product, in my opinion, without our Thrive tomato powder. I love this tomato powder. I use it in all kinds of sauces, stews, gravies, tomato sauces. It's just a great universal product, our Thrive Tomato Powder. You gotta get some. Delicious. Okay, so we take our Thrive Tomato Powder and we sprinkle that into the sauce. This is kind of a creamy sauce, but I like the tomato tone that the acid and that wonderful flavor of the tomato gives this wonderful sauce. Okay, so we have that now going, working. On this recipe, it does add, as for our Thrive Instant Milk, which is a new launch product at our last convention outstanding product. You can't go wrong with it. But first, we're going to add some heavy cream to give it a little more richness. This isn't a vegan class. <laughs> we're celebrating vegetables Good. and cream. <laughs> okay, then this is our Thrive Milk, uh, reconstituted just an hour ago. Perfect condition. Look how perfect. BYU study places this first place, everybody. Really? Uh, round of applause for our milk. <laughs> Okay, so we stir the cream in to the vegetables. You can see how wonderful that is. Isn't that great? Okay, we add our milk to it. Can you imagine this layer between pasta sheets and cheese? Get it up. Delicious. Okay. All right, now, real quick to start our next pasta dish, our next dish. We're going to create a little uh, crepe filling. And the filling, whoa, sorry, sorry. It talks back all the time. <laughs> Sad. No problem. <laughs> so we have butter in this pan, the saute pan. We have some fresh minced garlic in this pan, okay? Melted down. In this wonderful bowl, we have, let me add a few seasonings to this first. Salt, pepper, pit seasoning. Italian seasoning, get those out of the way. That's our vegetarian lasagna. Now we're working on our vegetarian crepes, okay? Butter, garlic. We have some Thrive spinach, some Thrive broccoli, some Thrive mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, all the goodness right here, okay? So after the garlic and the butter gets melted, all you wanna do is put those vegetables that have just been reconstituted with a little bit of water, and I didn't even drain it, I just put just enough of it so it would soak it up. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of a toss to kind of get... Well, don't try that at home. Because okay? uh, you'll have to clean it up. Okay, so now we have this wonderful vegetable mix going. And we just want to get a nice little saute with that butter and garlic. Okay, we have some seasoning for this, just a little seasoned salt. And then a couple important ingredients, after this sweats down a little bit, we have cream cheese, we have some Parmesan cheese, we have some breadcrumbs, and we have some fresh chopped herbs. 
Okay? So, what this is going to do is the cream cheese, the breadcrumbs, and the herbs and everything are going to help give it a binder so it has a little bit more stuffing-like texture, okay, in this, in this filling. So we just take this filling and make sure that it's good and hot. All the vegetables have cooked and reconstituted. We're going to simmer our, bring our sauce for the lasagna to a simmer. Oh, wow. Coming along nicely. Okay? So now this is, this is going to be good. It's plenty hot. You don't want to really overcook it because this is going to go right back into an oven with the mushroom. Okay? So on our, I mean with the crepe, excuse me. So we have some crepes here. I've gone ahead and done up. Let me show you how easy this is. You take the brown side of the crepe, you lay it down. We're going to take our cream cheese and mix our cream cheese right into the filling. We take our Parmesan cheese, mix it right into the filling. Fresh chopped herbs, mix it right into the filling. And, our, and some breadcrumb. And this breadcrumb is actually some nice whole wheat bread that we made with Thrive Whole Wheat. And if you haven't had our Thrive Whole Wheat, you got to try it. It's delicious. Okay, so now with the heat and everything, it's going to melt this, this uh, cream cheese down nicely. You just kind of smash it in there. Without spilling everywhere, of course. Okay. Once you get your filling pretty much mixed in together good, well enough, then just go ahead and take some of your filling, go all the way to the edge of the crepe. Fold it. Okay, like so. That one ripped. Let me do one more. If it rips, it's okay. You're still going to eat it. It's not like we're going to discard this beautiful piece of wonderful Thrive Love. Okay. <laughs> go like that one more time. I'm pro probably putting just a hair too much in is the problem. There we go. Okay, now I forgot one secret too. Take a little bit of our Thrive Whole Eggs or Scrambled Eggs will work too. Reconstitute it into eggs. Brush just a little bit of egg, Thrive Whole Eggs right there. Take this. This is an instant replay. Okay. Take this, fold this beauty up, okay? Then what you want to do, take a little bit more of your eggs and just brush it right on top of the crate, like so. Then I've taken a little bit more fresh herb, Parmesan cheese, and breadcrumb, and you sprinkle that right on top of the crate, okay? Then you take a baking sheet after you've got, what, five for me, five for you, maybe three or four for the kids. Once you get all those made, then you can just go ahead and set them down right on a baking sheet and bake those babies off in an oven. That simple. That's our stuffed crepes. It can be that easy. That's how easy Thrive can be. Okay? What a delicious treat that'll be. So that's a nice vegetarian style dish. Of course you can add plenty, buckets, cups, quarts of our Thrive chicken. Okay? So if you're into meat, that's fine. If you're a vegetarian, you're going to love this recipe. So now this sauce is coming up. We've got to wait just a little longer for it to get a little bit thicker. And then we'll be able to layer our lasagna. Okay, meanwhile, we're going to talk about one more quick recipe. A couple more quick recipes. This one is going to be the stuffed portobello. So we're going to take a pan. We're going to get this pan hot. Put a little oil in there, like so. Okay? You're going to take a portobello mushroom. Try, don't find them out of the yard, though. You can buy them from the store. Okay? You're going to take your mushroom. You're going to trim just a little bit of this black part of the, the mushroom off. Just like so. See how easy that was? Okay? Then you're going to take, very easily, just a little bit of seasoning. And you're going to do six or seven mushrooms, of course. I'm just going to show you the one. Take a little bit of seasoning, take a little bit of uh, Thrive freeze-dried onions, a little bit of uh, fresh extra virgin olive oil, some fresh herbs, and balsamic vinegar. Okay, you want to let these soak, okay, you want to let these mushrooms soak for a good, 
give or take four or five days, just kidding. Two or three, <laughs> two or three hours, even up to a half a day would be perfect. You want to let those marinate, okay? So I have some here. You can see that the mushroom has taken on a great little marinade. So we're going to stuff those little babies. All right, so we're going to show you that. First, we're going to make the stuffing. So I've got hot oil in there. Again, I've got thrived red peppers, thrived freeze-dried onions, thrived peas. Oh, I love thrived peas. I can just pop them in my mouth all day long. Okay, we're going to just saute that a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of garlic to it. We're going to add some fresh herbs to this. We're going to add just a touch of balsamic to this too to give it a little bit of flavor. And then we're going to add some seasonings. Okay? So once you get everything in the pot pan, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Give it a little quick toss. See if I can make it in the pan this time. Get everything mixed together. And on this one too, you really don't want to cook it too long because this one's going to bake in the oven. Okay? So again, we have our baking sheet. We're going to lay some mushrooms down like so. These are nice marinated mushrooms. This is the vegetarian steak. Pretend it's a nice steak, okay? All right, then we take our filling. We're going to put our, our vegetable filling right on top of here, like so. Okay, it's that easy. One, two, three. Bang. Okay, now we're going to take our, not that one. I'm going to take a little bit of Asiago uh, Parmesan cheese and put it on there. Then we're going to take some of our good cheese, because this is Thrive cheese, <laughs> mozzarella. Okay, Thrive mozzarella. Don't be, don't be uh, skimpy on this. Got to load this thing up. So put your Thrive mozzarella right on top of that, those portobello mushrooms. Oh. Come on. What, what are we cooking with? <laughs> stuffed, stuffed crepes, stuffed portobello mushrooms. We got lasagna working. Who wants to see more recipes? Yeah! yeah. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. Here we go. Wait a minute. Got to stir. <laughs> Don't want to burn the sauce. Make sure you stir. Cream sauces need to be stirred. Okay. So this is starting to thicken up for the lasagna, which is going to be delicious. Okay. Now, nothing screams to me more than a nicely cooked bean. <clears throat> We've got our red beans, our, kid, our, our pinto beans, and our white beans. Okay. Soak them for three hours. Put them in a pot with some salt, some thrive onion. Cook them for a couple hours, press them. You have delicious beans. Rinse them with cold water and get them cold. And then put some great toppings with it, okay? What kind of toppings would we put in here? Vegetables. Thrive vegetables. Thrive vegetables, exactly. <laughs> so first, Thrive Zucchini, love it, great product. Thrive onions, Thrive green beans, Thrive tomatoes. You can add all kinds of things to this. All kinds of our vegetables would be good in this, in this recipe. So that's a big bowl. I thought you might be hungry. Okay, in this one, we have a little bit of balsamic, a little bit of mustard, olive oil, easy little vinaigrette, pour right on top of those beans. When I wrote the menu for this night, I guess I was in a balsamic mood. Okay, I love balsamic though, it's a great Italian flavor. Okay, so now, if I dare, looking for a spoon. If I dare stir this up, you're going to see a delicious pasta. Okay, so you can see how wonderful this salad's going to turn out. Now, there's obviously tons of prep in here. My knife is dull now because I had to cut all these vegetables. Oh. <laughs> I didn't cut any of these vegetables, huh? Didn't cut any of these vegetables. Very easy prep. 
reconstitute, cook your beans, and you have a quick, easy, convenient meal, Thrive Style. Beautiful. Okay. Giddy up. All right, boom. Pasta, one, uh, bean salad 101. Now, last but not least, I need one more pan. Who wants to see me make a crepe? I do, I do. Okay, these, this crepe recipe I've given you is really a simple recipe. It's not hard. You should be able to handle it with no problem. But let the, let the kids have some fun. You're going to make a mess. But let the family get involved. Okay? So now, what we want to do is warm up a pan. While that pan is warming up, we're going to saute some wonderful ingredients. I wanted to show you this lasagna real quick. Okay? Get a little bit of pan. Spray your, spray your pan. Lay your lasagna sheets like this. Okay. Once your sauce is thickened, you want to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Thrive spinach. Thrive diced tomatoes. My, this is tied for my first favorite ingredient with about seven others. <laughs> Okay, and then a little bit of uh, par uh, Parmesan cheese in there. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that going to be awesome? Okay. Now we just take this. Have to get it all incorporated. So now you have a really nice sauce base. Okay. <laughs> And you just ladle some of this sauce. Look at this. Thrive. It just screams thrive. Look at the colors, the vegetables, the freshness, the nutritious, wonderful elements of these vegetables will make your family, yourself happy. What a treat. Okay. Once you continue layering this, we're going to do this three more times in the same form and fashion, the same layering. Once you continue layering this, you lay another pasta, you do another layer, another pasta, and then we top it with cheese and herbs and throw it in the oven. Okay? But that's, that's our lasagna. Now, last but not least, to get started here, we want to add a little bit of oil to the pan, a little bit of butter, and again, what are we using? Ripe vegetables! Ripe vegetables. Mushrooms, zucchini, spinach, corn. Uh, green beans, all kinds of good vegetables. We're going to add a little bit of garlic in there and sweat that down with it. Okay? We're going to take a little bit of time to let this saute. And saute, when you're sauteing, if you don't hear it sizzling and popping, if you don't hear Thrive going crazy, you're not sauteing. So make sure you saute. All right? So now we have. This is a, a little bit of a creamy style base pasta. And we've got to put a little bit of seasoning in there once we're sauteing. Okay, and then the tomato comes in. Again, one of my favorite products. Sprinkle a little tomato powder all over there. And a little bit of our chicken bouillon gives a Oh, chicken bouillon. It has chicken in it. Our chicken bouillon, ladies and gentlemen, is vegetarian. It's a vegetarian product. You can use it. Sprinkle a little bouillon in there for flavor. It's got a vegetable flavor, a vegetable back note. It's a delicious product. Once you have all that goodness in there, you're going to add some water. And let all this goodness kind of reconstitute and just create a nice pot of love, Thrive Style. After that reduces a little bit, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some cream and cream it up and make a sauce. We're ready to keep cooking, huh? All right, we have our pasta primavera. Welcome back to the Vegetarian Thrive Live series. 
We have our vegetables going in here, our cream is in here. We're gonna put some more fresh herbs in here. Get that really flavorful. We're gonna take some of our wonderful fried egg noodles, fettuccine, and add it right into this dish. Okay, we're gonna attempt something very scary. Give that a little toss. Okay. I've gone ahead and baked some of those wonderful, delicious crepes. And I wanted to show you how simple and easy these crepes are to do. Take a plate. You're going to grab just a little bit of a Mornay sauce made with our fried milk. We're going to put just a little of that nice, rich, creamy sauce right down on the bottom, like so. And we're going to take these crepes, once you bake them, that cheese and that breadcrumb just sticks right to that crepe, just like so. We're gonna lay just a little bit of crepes like that. And I like, just to give it a little zing, just take a little tomato powder. Giddy up, just like that. Who needs salt anymore, huh? A little tomato powder, and then a little bit of fresh herb on there and you have a simple vegetarian treat that everybody will love. Okay. Really simple and easy. Now, take one of these lasagnas. Look at the layer of love that Thrive offers you. Huh? Yeah. Vegetarian lasagna right there. Another simple little dish. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there. Again. Go with your simple little flavor. Give it a little bang. And you've got another easy little dish. Everybody. Okay, one last one. We'll show you real quick. Our pasta is now done. I haven't got it all over the place. Thank goodness. Okay, just take a little bit of your pasta, just a little bit of your tomato powder, and a little bit of your Thrive mozzarella cheese. Oh, baby. And again, you have a simple, easy, convenient dish created by Thrive, and it is vegetarian. So, we have an easy, Bean salad, vegetarian. Our wonderful, delicious stuffed mushrooms that you'll all be able to enjoy soon. And our stuffed crepes, our pasta, our lasagna. Vegetarian 101 Thrive Style.